Good afternoon. I come before you today to address the current status of the Sagan Fox Nation, the state of Oklahoma, and the United States of America. A crisis like the coronavirus calls for bold, decisive leadership from the top. It demands calm yet aggressive decisions that put people before profit and health above comfort. This is an unprecedented moment in our people's history and it brings with it first of its kind type protocol. Your business committee began last week creating a framework and plan to provide services to our people while also ensuring for the health and public safety of our employees and the most vulnerable of our people, our elders, our youth, and our sick. We've implemented this plan beginning last Thursday. I humbly ask for your patience as we work to provide core services while practicing CDC recommended social distancing procedures. We have also suspended both of our casino operations. Following that decision, we passed Resolution 145, an emergency declaration banning events and group gatherings of 10 or more people and allowing for future applications for federal assistance. In the weeks or even months ahead, it also bans all non-essential employee work-related travel and calls on the White House and Congress to allocate federal funding to assist in the travel response to the pandemic. Furthermore, we have taken action effective tomorrow, March 24th. All travel offices and services will be by appointment only, and our hours will be reduced. We will open between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Please continue to watch our website and official Facebook page for updates. All of these steps will be ineffective should our people not follow the advice of health professionals. I implore you to do your best to limit your interaction with other people. Even if you are not considered at risk, someone you love could suffer because of unwise choices. Social distancing is not a joke. It is the difference between weeks or months of this disruption to everyday life as we know it. I encourage you to check on loved ones, friends and family who will need support during this trying time. Social media is playing a profound role in our ability to stay in contact and to receive information faster than any time in our history. With that access comes great responsibility to not spread fear, but instead incite action. If we remain calm and responsible in our daily routine, we can stop the spread. The time has come for leaders to take every possible measure to promote an attitude of unity to defeat our common enemy. The coronavirus transcends political parties and petty disagreements. I wholeheartedly encourage Governor Stitt to follow the courageous leadership of governors in California, New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and Louisiana. We elect leaders for times such as these. Tribal leaders across the state have taken the necessary steps to stop the spread. It's time the state follows our lead. And with me today, I have uh, Deanne Fortenberry, nurse practitioner uh, with the Sagan Fox Nation uh, Black Hawk Health Clinic. She is going to uh, provide some safe health practices for our tribal members and citizens across the state and the nation. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Um, I do want to reiterate, too, that we are still open, although our hours are going to be reduced. We are still seeing the people that need to be seen. We are still doing refills. We are still taking care of business. We're just trying to do as much as we can from a distance, just like everybody else is trying to do from a distance. Uh, the most important thing that we can do in the prevention or stopping the spread of any kind of illness, a virus or a bacteria or anything else, is in washing our hands. If you have glitter on your hands and you touch anything else, you're going to transmit that glitter from one place to the other. You can do your own experiment, just put a little glitter on your hands and then see where it shows up. If you're washing your hands effectively, that glitter doesn't show up anywhere else. But imagine it going to the doorknob, to your telephone, to your light switches, to the other people around you, and those things, every time you transmit a virus or a bacteria, that increases the chances that someone else is going to get sick. If you are washing your hands effectively, that significantly decreases your risks. You don't have to wear gloves. You don't have to you know, gown and mask and glove, although you will see us doing that in the clinic because we are also trying to help keep you safe at the same time that we're trying to stay healthy and share 
our services as much as we still can. The other thing that you can do if your hands are not visibly soiled is use some alcohol gel. It's very effective. Every time you've gone to the bathroom, you're eating, anything like that, you still need to use soap and water. But those intermittent interactions, alcohol gel is perfectly fine. The social distancing, for the most part, the easiest thing is if you can reach out and someone else can reach out at the same time and you're touching fingertips, you're a little too close. We're talking about a six feet distance for the most part. That decreases the risk of those, the viral droplets from transmitting from one person to the next during a cough or a sneeze or an accidental whatever that happens when we're talking to each other. And that's the biggest thing that we can do. One thing I do want to encourage you, this is temporary. This is not something that's going to last forever. It is not going to um, destroy our lives as Americans or as tribal members. The tribal leadership is doing a fantastic job in making the changes that need to be made to help keep us safe, but it is not a permanent situation. It is not something that we need to be afraid of. We just need to follow the protocol. I'd like to, to thank Ms. Fortenberry for her help today and for helping ensure our tribal members that we are, uh, that we are taking every precaution necessary. Uh, I want you to know that we are um, trying to provide as many services as possible while keeping everybody healthy and safe. I'd like to go to our Creator in, in, in prayer uh, before, uh, before I uh, end this address. Uh, Father God, we thank you for uh, our people. We thank you for our tribal citizens, Lord. We thank you for our employees, we thank you for our elders, our youth, and our and our sick, Father. We ask we lift them up to you today, Father. We ask for protection, we ask for health, and we ask for uh, uh, the encouragement that only you can provide, and the pre the peace that only you can provide. Um, you are our great physician, and and you are our uh, our caretaker. I thank you for all the blessings you have given us, and we know that uh, you have not started any good work that you will not finish. We ask for your guidance and wisdom and discernment, Lord. And I pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you.